Okay, so here we have another um, <clears throat> microwave uh, time of flight camera. This time we're using a parabolic dish. Uh, and here is the, um, down here is the receiver. And it's mounted onto a XY scanner. And then there's the waveguide feed. And then back here, we have all the control and data acquisition uh, racks. Okay, so here we have the uh, microwave imaging device set up so that uh, it will scan this group of push pins up here. Uh, here we have a uh, the emitter is directed at these thumbtacks here or push pins. There's a row of seven of them, and then we will scan them with uh, this device, and we should see the uh, wave propagating off these guys one at a time as it goes on down the line. And in this case, we'll only see five of them because the field of view for which we're scanning will cover only five of these things. And here's another view of what the pins look like. And then yet another view. Okay, here we have another more of a backscatter setup where we have the emitter right here, and then we have a, um, a target scene of push pins inserted into the styrofoam, and it's in the shape of an M. So uh, we'll uh, image these next. Okay, here we are for another uh, time of flight image. This time we're going to stack um, three different uh, push pin letters. First one being M, second one I, and third one T. And the idea is that the illumination horn uh, should illuminate each one of these one at a time uh, as the uh, pulse travels through it. So we'll uh, begin this measurement right now.